Equifax and COVID beneficiary stocks all climbing in popularity among millennials. Kate Rooney has that for us. Kate? Hey, John, younger traders have been rushing into some new stocks in recent months. According to a study out today from Apex Clearing, younger traders were overwhelmingly buying electric vehicle stocks, SPACs, and names that benefit from the pandemic in the third quarter. The cohort made, quote, aggressive moves into the electric vehicle space. One example, Tesla dethroned Apple as the top stock among millennials. Chinese EV stock Neo moved up 34 spots on the list of millennials' top 100 picks. And Workhorse also got a boost, up 28 spots. Millennials also got in on the buzz around SPACs, or special purpose acquisition companies. SHLL, which is Tortoise Acquisition, went from unranked to number 34. SPAQ, Spartan Energy Acquisition, made the list as well as it looks to bring electric car maker Fisker public. The outlier here in that space was Nikola, which still made the list, but it dropped significantly in the quarter, moving down 40 spots to number 89. Analysts tell me that was due to some downgrades as well as changes in executive leadership. Stocks that benefit from the ongoing pandemic continue to make a splash. Peloton is up 41 spots. DocuSign went from being unranked to being in the top 50, and Teladoc is also rising. Major vaccine manufacturers Johnson and jo Johnson, Johnson, Pfizer, and Moderna are all on the Millennial 100 as they approach or begin those Phase 3 trials. And guys, a sports kickoff again. Penn Gaming jumped 34 spots in popularity. Across generations, though, it's still all about big tech. The report, which analyzed more than 1.3 million investment accounts, showed broad support for Apple, Amazon, Tesla, as well as Microsoft, which were all in the top five for every generation. Chip stocks, NVIDIA, and AMD also joined the party, jumping multiple spots across Gen Z, Millennial, and Boomer's top holdings.